work is about uh, two hours walking away. Uh, I wake up in the morning at six and work until nine at night. I looked everywhere asking for work, but everyone was asking for uh, documents. Documents, and uh, then I found this work. Uh, all day washing dishes, uh, and they pay me 20 pounds cash. It's not a lot, but what can I do? Uh, I'm desperate. I left Afghanistan when I was 14. Too many problems in Afghanistan. No work. There is no life, no education, no safety, no future. Only one person in a family can leave because it is very expensive. My parents borrowed a lot of money, sold their land so I could come here. It took one year and a half on the journey. It nearly killed me through Iran, Turkey, Greece, France. There were many people traveling at one time, including women, children, old people. Once, uh, the agent forced a hundred people into a container and we were forced to lie on top of other people because there was no space. There was no air. It stank of human sweat. When we reached a destination, the driver opened the door and we found some people were dead. We slept in open air, in jungles and mountains. We would sleep during the day and walk during the night. And the agent used to make us run like donkeys until the morning. Everyone was so scared. I was thinking, I will never make it to the UK. But me and some others were lucky. Uh, we survived. I came to this country with great hope for a better life. It was my great dream. People used to say, the UK is beautiful, much better than other countries. When I got off the lorry in the UK, it was early morning. I walked around asking Asian people in Pashto and Urdu, where is the mosque? I met a guy from my country. I said to him, I am hungry, I'm looking for somewhere to stay. He let me stay with him and his friends. I'm very grateful to him. I will never forget this. The day I arrived, I called my family to tell them. They gave out sweets to people in the village. And that's how happy they were, because so many people don't make it. My family keeps saying, now you are in England, you can help us financially. I say to them, I still don't have documents. I'm not allowed to work. I am in hiding and cannot support even myself. I did not claim asylum. I've heard of so many Afghans who get deported, so I've decided to stay away from the authorities. Every time I see the police, I run away. I'm scared to go to the doctor if I'm sick. I never go, no matter how ill I get. Sometimes my friends say to me, you are illegal, and this makes me feel very low. And I get jealous. I see myself as second class. At the moment, I'm not a complete person. I really want to study and get a qualification, live like a normal citizen. It is my great wish and dream. I have gone every now and then to the college, and every time they ask for documents and passports and driving license. There are many young people like me arriving here. We all live in fear of deportation. We have lost our childhood, and we miss out on our education. We move around from one place to another working. I will be here for as long as I can get away with it. There is nothing for me back home. When I'm not working, I go to the park, and I don't talk or sit with anyone. I keep to myself. I sit on my own, thinking all the time about my life. Why is my life like this? Look at all these people who have documents having a normal life.